In this video, we'll consider creating histograms using the Lattice Graphics package for R. So to do this, we will make use of some data from Australian Rules Football across five seasons, starting in 2003, running through to 2007. This data is stored in an external text file with the name shown here, and we're making use of the read.csv function to load in the data. We then save it as a data frame object, afl.dm. So we run the command, and as there are no warnings or errors, the data has been loaded in as expected. So first up, we make use of the square brackets notation to pick out the first five rows of the data frame. So here we can see the data that has been stored in this file and that we're going to analyze. So in this example, we're going to look at the total number of points scored by the home team across these five seasons. First up, we make sure that the Lattice Graphics package is loaded. And then we make use of the function histogram to create the plot. So the formula is used to specify a particular column. We've only got one variable here rather than two or more as we have in other graphs. So the column is home.total and the data frame where it's stored is afl.df. So if we submit that command, we get a histogram as shown here. So what we can also do is if we go back to our histogram command, retrieve it with the up arrow, and we can put in things such as an axis label on the x-axis as well as an overall total such as histogram of points scored by home team. So if we run that and then take a quick look at the graph we'll see that the changes are merely cosmetic on those two axes. Now at the moment this is data stored across five years but combined if we want to separate it out, we can make use of the year variable. Now, as this is numeric at the moment, we'll want to convert it to a factor so that our labels on the different panels are actually shown as numbers. So we run the command shown here, which uses the factor function to convert our column year to a factor from a numerical variable. So then what we want to do is bring up our previous command. So we use the up arrow twice, and then we use this vertical bar to indicate conditioning. So we're conditioning on the year variable. So if we run that command and look at the graph, we'll see what it's done is it's worked out how many different years we've got in our data, and then produced a histogram for each of those with common axis labels, so it's easy to make a comparison across these five panels.